Let's talk about medium to large kidney stones. These stones are in the size range of 10 to 20 millimeters. These stones, unlike the smaller stones, don't always cause severe symptoms. Small stones can travel through the urinary tract and cause a blockage of urine and therefore that's where the severe symptoms come from. These bigger stones, which can grow from this size to even bigger, as big as the size of my hand, these stones uh, don't always cause the same kind of severe symptoms that you see with the small stones. They may in fact cause backache or blood in the urine or infections. Sometimes they're even found for reasons where we're not looking for the stones. We're looking for something else and they show up on, a, on an x-ray test and that's how we see these larger stones. These stones can be treated with a variety of different techniques, including shockwave therapy, ureteroscopy, and percutaneous surgery. Once they get to be bigger than 20 millimeters, which is about an inch, then we usually only treat those with percutaneous surgery. Let's talk about some of those treatments now. Shockwave therapy is one of the options we have to treat kidney stones. What this means is that we pass sound waves through the body to break up the stone without the need for a scope or an incision. This can be used to treat stones in the 5 to 15 millimeter size range. Sometimes we can treat even a little bit larger stone, but it's not for every stone. If the stone is too hard or if it's located in the bottom of the kidney, this may not be the best choice and we have other options to look at then. Ureteroscopy is another option to treat kidney stones. What this means is that we run a scope into your body through the natural openings without the need for an incision. We can run the scope into the ureter, which is the tube that connects the kidney to the bladder, or we can run the scope all the way into the kidney. Once we locate the stone, we generally pass a laser through the scope to break up the stone. Today we have high power lasers that can actually turn the stone into dust. What that means is that the laser will literally turn it into like grains of sand, and then your body can just naturally flush those pieces out. If the stone doesn't break like that, if it turns into fragments, then we have special baskets and devices that can retrieve the pieces if it's safe to do that. If for some reason we can't get to the stone or reach it with the scope, or if it's a large stone or a complex stone, then there are some other options we can look at in those scenarios. 